having trouble getting this off. This is huge! Oh, man. What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy and welcome back to another video. Now before we jump into today's video, I've got something very special that I need to talk to you guys about. I don't know if you guys follow your boy on Twitter, but you should because just the other day we had some crazy, crazy news drop. Obviously you guys saw we 3D printed a Tesla Cybertruck. We had a few articles written about us by different news publications, which is alone a big vibe. So thank you to anybody who's done that. But one of those in particular called Tesla Raddy, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not, but one of them in particular at Tesla Ratty wrote this article. Tesla Cybertruck gets 3D printed into life. They talk about what we did and show some footage from it. It's, you know, pretty big vibe. What happened that was most important is as you might be able to see, somebody in particular replied to that tweet. So I know this video isn't about Tesla, but I just need to talk to you guys about this because we've been talking about getting Elon Musk to notice us and what we're doing on this channel for so long and it finally happened. He replied to their tweet of the article outlining what we did in my video saying, cute. I, I'll take it. You know, I'll take it. I think I think it is cute. I think the Cybertruck we made is cute. If you haven't checked out the video, be sure to check it out. I'll put a link to it down below in the description. The only unfortunate thing is, well, we didn't get tagged in it. So he technically didn't at me, which is that's so that's the next step. But he's seen something we've done. He's seen our little mini Cybertruck. He thought it was cool enough. Well, I guess cute enough to warrant a reply. So we're on our way to finally getting Elon to notice us like for real, like maybe follow me on Twitter or something. I I don't, I don't know, but this is a step in the right direction. I'm not exactly sure where the end of that direction is, but anything Elon noticing us and showing any form of like appreciation for what we did, huge vibe. So I'm super ant and I hope you guys are too, because I know you've been along with me for this journey to getting Elon to finally notice us, maybe sponsor us, who knows? The possibilities are endless. And I just want to let you guys know in case you didn't follow me on Twitter. But if you don't, you should be sure to follow me on Twitter. But with that being said, today we are going to be doing a video on another one of our favorite brands here on the channel and that is Apple and Wish. As you guys know I like to go on Wish and buy all of something and well we've purchased verified Apple products off of Wish in the past so now that Wish has the official brands page they have legitimate Apple products but I want to go back to the OG vibe where Wish is known for the knockoff products and we're going to be buying a bunch of Apple related products that are on Wish the cheap kind and see what kind of weird crazy stuff we can find. So with that being said, let's see what we can find. As you guys know, one of the first things we bought that was Apple was AirPods. I don't want to get the OG AirPods though. I want to find some AirPods Pros. What is this? Okay, this is 789. This isn't really what we're looking for. I'm gonna be honest, I'm curious. An iPhone 11 Pro Max. Is that not kind of cheap? I'm gonna leave that for another video. If you guys want to see me buy a legit iPhone 11 Pro Max off Wish, be sure to smash the like button. If we can get over 30,000 likes, I'll come back and we'll buy all the legit stuff. Well, maybe not all of it because I'll go broke, but we'll, we'll buy, I don't, here we got to stay focused right now. Okay, we got some AirPods, AirPod Pros. These are called the Airs Pro and they are $29. I haven't bought AirPod Pros in like six months. I'm interested to see how good they are now or if they haven't improved at all because that's also a possibility. We got here a new ultra thin nine millimeter solar external battery. Is that legit? So you can solar power your iPhone. You guys know I love my solar powered items. We did it with the Tesla in the past. I got it. Oh, it even has a little flashlight on. Okay, I'm gonna add that to the cart. Okay, we've got a fast charging wireless charger magnetic keychain smart charging dock for the Apple watch that's interesting I honestly don't use my Apple watch because it's kind of a pain to charge it based off the way I have it set up in my house maybe this will make it easier it looks like you can take it with you so you can charge it when it dies which would be a pretty big vibe so add it to the cart now I don't know about you guys but the longer the cable the better especially for me because the way my bed is set up it's like the outlet is like way behind my headboard so it's like barely coming out that I can use it so I can't actually use my phone comfortably in bed but this would solve my problem so let's get it in red and let's order it and it's verified bye okay this is a jolly book mini instant film camera it looks like you like put your phone up to it or something i don't know i'm just gonna buy it i'm not i'm not gonna spend too much time on it that looks interesting it's different than anything we found so far and i can use it with my phone okay we've got to get an iphone case this is the original liquid iphone case don't know what that means oh that's kind of cool it shows how it fully covers the area where the camera, like see this, it doesn't leave this open. It like goes right up nice, close and personal to the actual camera lens. I'm gonna order that right now. And we're gonna get for the iPhone 11 Pro Max in, I feel like the light green looks kind of cool. But here, 
This one's three dollars. I don't know what size mine is. Okay, six bucks. And this looks pretty wavy, to be honest. This is the standard one that comes with your Apple Watch. It's not bad, but it's pretty bland and it's definitely not as classy as the one we see right here. So this could be a vibe for the Apple Watch. So I'm gonna buy that. All right, this looks like a vibe. I'm not gonna lie, I have too many Apple devices. I need to be able to charge them more efficiently. We got the wireless charger stand, your AirPods, your Apple Watch, your iPhone. Is that even an iPhone? That looks like it's an Android. But look at look at all the stuff getting charged at once. Big vibe, 15 bucks, four in one. Give me the, the max and let's get in black, boom. 20 bucks, that's not even bad. Add it to the cart. I think we got a good array of items right now. I might do a little more shopping. Who knows? You guys know I like to surprise you lately and we'll see everything when it comes in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all of our packages have finally arrived and it's time to check out how good these Apple products are from Wish. First item we have here, it says earplug times one. Oh, there's a sneaky, sneaky customs move here. These are not earplugs, they're earphones. And I'm guessing earplugs are cheaper so that you don't have to pay customs. Am I exposing myself right now? I didn't do, it was it was the it, people deliver, it wasn't me, don't come after me, please. But we've got the TWS 5.0 wireless earphones looking exactly like the AirPods Pro. It's been a while since we did anything AirPods related. I have heard that there's some new stuff coming out soon, so I'm excited for that. They've got an interesting little box here, as you guys can see, very colorful. Colorful. Okay, that is the first time I've seen the AirPods outside of the case. I don't really get why that's the case. <laughs> Should make sure these fit since they weren't inside it. Yeah, okay, they fit, they charge. But the main thing we're always wondering is, how's the audio quality? So we're gonna check those out. I remember before, one of the good indicators was if you looked through this part right here, you could see a little bit of a mesh. Whenever I saw that on the buying all the AirPod Pros video, I knew they were slightly better quality, but these look a little bit different along the bottom. There's a few differences that I'm noticing here. Very minor. I'm not sure if these are gonna be good, but there's only one way to find out. So let's connect them to my phone pops up right on your device just like that airpods pro connecting oh they even have transparency mode and everything i want to try transparency mode oh we got another pair i do notice quite a few visual differences the ones we just got are quite a bit larger charging indicator light is in the bottom on these new ones they stand up right they also have a different charging input these are airpods pro inspired but they do have quite a few obvious differences from the actual airpods pro now that i'm looking at them audio quality isn't bad as you guys saw when it popped up on my phone, it was pretty legit. And apparently these have transparency mode. I just don't know how to engage it. All right, next item we have, it says it's a mobile phone stand, a charging stand, a multifunctional charging stand. Ooh, this looks kind of clean. You can do multiple phones. You can even do Android phones. So they have multiple charging devices. You can charge three phones at once or three devices at once. And you have a dedicated iPhone charger over here. I think this is also a wireless charging plate so you could put your Apple Watch there. So you could charge five devices at once using this thing. I don't know how fast they charge, but ooh, come on. That's kind of a vibe. So this is the phone dock. This is the AirPods dock. And I'm guessing seven is your smartwatch charging stand. All right, what do we have next? We've got a case. I'm assuming it's an iPhone case because it's an Apple product video. Ooh, okay, okay. Got a nice, simple, like a green pastel color here for the iPhone 11 Pro. We gave away a lot of phones recently in the fan mystery box video. So that's gonna be coming relatively soon. We've sent them out already. A huge thank you to everyone who submitted videos. We're gonna do another one, hopefully, or some form of another one in the future. So if you didn't win, don't worry, but that's gonna be a really cool video. All right, so this is an iPhone 11 Pro Max case and it looks pretty good as you guys might or might not be able to see depending on how lazy jay is right now fits great easy to use sleek design and it was cheap and from wish you see the vibes we're just missing the apple watch now all right next item we have oh okay this is looking like the big daddy extra long iphone charging cable Yay. Ow. charging okay that's always oh not charging. Yep, charging. That's one thing I find when I buy charging cables that are not Apple charging cables is they stop working very quickly. They're very finicky. Sure, they're like 10 bucks, but they do not last long at all. So as much as this is great and it's nice and long, so it's easy to use, I don't know how long it's going to last. That's my biggest issue when it comes to these things. I find you end up going through like 10 a year as opposed to one a year. So it ends up costing you more than getting the Apple one, but who knows? Maybe they finally got better. Next item. 
That's right, Jay. Okay, what do we have here? I think we all know what we have here. We've got an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Apparently, that's what they're claiming. We've got the three cameras on the back. I mean, obviously it says Attila, which is not iPhone or Apple. We got some AirPods, our charging kit. I know. Yeah, this is a, a pod. This is just a pod. I like it. This is odd. And let's do the peel. Oh, that one still feels good. They do a good job of that. And it's not an iPhone. It's an Android. Surprise. Oh God, this is going to be rough. If you guys remember, we got one of these before and we threw it from a parking garage, which was, was a good time. Oh. That hurts my ears now, because I know yeah, it's just it's shit. shit. Shit incoming is what that sound means to me. Okay, we're gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison. I think the main thing I wanna see is what's under here. Oh, Having trouble getting this off. I almost killed myself. Let's maybe not do that. Okay, so we've got the uh, Android device open. Obviously, we like to check the camera. This is a little bit better than normal. Whoa, the selfie. This is the most you'll see. That's rough. All right, Jay, go to town. Three, two, one. I was even gentle. You yeah, I, was, I don't know why thing. you were gentle. Oh my God. Welcome to the party, ladies and gentlemen. We've been down this path before. We know what it is. It's a shit Android phone with a somewhat decent looking Apple body, but this one is even worse than worse. some of the ones we've got in the past. It ain't nothing new. We've been here before. All right, Jay's gonna dust and I'm gonna keep talking. We've got a watch holder. Wow, a nice little watch holder, magnetic, and you can, this is the thing to charge your Apple watch, I think. Thank you very much. I don't really know what to do with this. So I think this would charge your Apple Watch. You can charge this and then you can bring this with you. And if your Apple Watch dies throughout the day, you can just stick it on and charge it up while you're out and about. So it's like a power bank for your Apple Watch. That's my theory. I actually, I have, I have no idea. Next item. Okay, we've got a Apple Watch band. This looks pretty lit, to be honest. So obviously, if you guys have seen the Apple wristwatches, they have more of like a contemporary futuristic vibe to them. Not all of them, but most of them. And this is reverting back to more of like a traditional watch band. But before I go back to my house and I show you what this looks like, I have something else. Another Apple watch band. And this one is actually from Apple and costs like $70. I know I said I was gonna buy it from Wish. This was gonna be Wish Apple products, but I actually ordered one of these for Olivia and I figured it would be fitting to include it in this video so we can do a direct comparison. Of course, Apple products, they got the ways smoothly unbox them. Oh, feels good. So we've got the white and black Nike wristband right here. This is pretty clean. I mean, you can feel a very distinct quality difference. I'm gonna bring these home now and we are gonna test them out with my Apple Watch and you guys gotta tell me which one you like best. All right, guys, we're back at the house. As you can see, I've attached the Wish band to the watch and I think it looks really nice, honestly. I'm pretty impressed and for, I don't know, what was it, like 10 bucks? Here, I'll try it on real quick for you guys so you can see, you know? Definitely better than $70 on this, at least in my opinion. All right, and that is the significantly more expensive version. I don't know, this is nice. I will say this is nice, but for the price, I feel like this is low key better. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Next item. We have here the Jolly Look. It's a folding cardboard instant camera. So they've got different distances for different things you're taking photos of. I think we're missing something. Okay, so it says we pull this out, you insert a cassette, you open the front, you choose focal distance, roll out black sheet. The way this was shown to me when I was shopping was a phone, but I don't think that's the case. I think this is literally just an Instax Polaroid camera accessory. So I got bamboozled because I also don't have that. Like it looks cooler than than it is and I swear in the wish ad they had a phone behind it like I thought you use your phone that's what I thought I was getting this is not my proudest moment let's go let's go to the next item next Okay, folks, so for our last item, I actually have a surprise. So I know the last product was a little disappointing for uh, uh, multiple reasons, mostly my failure to properly buy it. No, not yet, not yet. I know a lot of the stuff we've been buying is off of Wish, but why stop there? Because we could get Apple products from the Apple store and we actually did. And I think this is very exciting stuff. So we've got the Apple HomePod. Ooh, a bit faster. Ooh. 
Ooh, thank you so much, mysterious hands. You okay? It's too old to be down there for that long. So if you guys remember, recently I did a video where I bought one item from every category on the Apple store. If you haven't, be sure to check it out. And one of those was the Apple HomePod, which is the Apple's answer to the Google Home Mini or Alexa, but it's kind of like on roids. Like this thing is intense. And I've been holding off unboxing it despite really wanting to try it out because I figured I'd include it in a video and this feels like the right time, okay? So let's get our little Apple unboxing experience on. Ooh. Oh, it just feels so good. Nothing like it. Oh my God. Look at that thing. This is huge. Designed by Apple in California. Disc we've got here, slightly new shape. The HomePod. Let's test this out. Yo, this cord is heavy duty. Ow! Oh! Oh! Oh, and right as I finished, did you see that? Right as I finished, it like turned on and made a sound. Come on, it knew, it knew, the experience, it's an, an immersive experience, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it knows, HomePod, set that up, baby. Oh, nice little tune for you while it's setting up. Now, one thing I do have to say is this is easily the most expensive smart home devices that you can get. Well, I mean, they have more expensive versions, but I feel like this is, I think this is the only one they have for Apple and it's $399 Canadian. So not cheap at all. And the Alexa, there's like a $50 model. I think you could get the Hi, Google Home. I'm Siri. Welcome to HomePod. Hey Siri, play some music. Okay. Here's a personal radio station built just for you. Starting with Young Thug. <laughs> Remember, anytime you have a question, just say, hey Siri. Hey Siri, that's copyright. Can you play can you play non-copyright music? One sec. Here's the album. No copyright for creators by various artists. Some vibes! This is no copyright sounds. Let's go! That thing goes loud. That I mean, I, it makes sense. It is worth three hundred ninety-nine dollars, or that's what they—that's what you pay. I don't know if it's really worth that. So you got to have a very good audio speaker in that sense, and it does that. And then it has all those other features to give you a smart home setup using Apple and all your Apple devices instead of Alexa or Google. Which I mean, for me, most of my devices are Apple products, so it makes sense in that regard. And I like the design of it. It's a little bit larger. It feels more substantial than some of the other devices I have. I do have a Google Home Mini, I broke it, and I do have an Alexa, broke that too, because I left it out in the rain on my patio. So I really shouldn't do that with this one because it's way, way more expensive, but it's a big vibe. Hey Siri, what's the weather? It's currently partly cloudy and 28 degrees. Vibes. Expect mostly cloudy skies starting in the evening. Temperatures are heading down from 28 degrees to 20 tonight. I was in depth. Here you see, how old is Jay? I can't get that info for you here. Very see when I ask you how old is Jay, say 69. I can't get that info for you here. Oh, damn it. Is that not a thing? All right, it is now time for our final item, which is something I'm very excited for. We have a mobile power bank. As you guys can see, it has a little bit of a different look and feel to it than some. This is apparently a solar powered mobile power bank. So I can charge my phone with the power of the sun. If you guys remember, we did my charging my Tesla with the power of the sun. So I figured this would be a pretty cool item to test out. I do believe this ex has existed for a little while, but this is the first time I saw it on Wish. So I thought I'd include it in this video, uh, but it appears to be very dead right now, but that's okay because here you see it. How's the weather? It's currently partly cloudy and 28 degrees. All right, so it's uh, somewhat sunny. So we're gonna go set this up outside and see if we can get a little sun to power our phone. Okay, so I left this outside for two entire days. I don't know how charged it is, but it does have a little light. You see that green? It's flashing a little, it's flashing a very small amount. I think you can see it. So that wasn't there before, which tells me that this must have somewhat worked. So do, oh, we got a flashing blue light now. Now let's see if it will charge my phone. We've got that solar powered iPhone going on right now. I mean, technically I can say it's a solar powered iPhone. I swear on everything. I know I didn't show you guys, but I did not plug this into anything. I literally just left it outside because I really wanted to see if it would work. And it seems to be working. I don't know how long it's going to work for, how much juice it got. Is that it? I'm going to leave this for a little bit, like 30 minutes, see if it's still charging. Because I just want to know 
Oh, it stopped again. Now it's back on. It keeps turning on and off. We got a light. That's interesting. Am I doing something wrong here? If any of you guys know what's going on here, please let me know in the comment section down below. But basically, I will unplug it and plug it back in. And it turns on for like three seconds. This light will flash blue. And then the light will go away and it'll stop charging. And then I can do it again. It'll last for three seconds again. But I'm, I'm not able to get any sustained charging going on. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it's out of batteries and I got a very small amount of solar power but it seems to keep popping back on as soon as I plug it in and then it just stops. I'm so confused. I'm, I'm kind of bummed out. I thought we were going to have some legit solar powered phone vibes going on, but it seems like it's a very brief amount of solar powered phone vibes. I can't really recommend this product, unfortunately. Maybe there's a better one on the market, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Toodles.